Good morning, guys and girls. Bad hair day to me, eh? No comment. Let's move on. Anyway, so, uh, new customer. Always a privilege to welcome a new customer. Two, actually. We'll talk about the other one soon. But we'll do this video first. So, they come all the way up from Cornwall. Um, taking advantage of the Revo end of year sale on the software and some of the hardware, etc. So, as you can see, it's a five door. Strange, isn't it? ST185 door in black, nice, quite rare these in that five door configuration. So he's done like 15,000 miles, um, been well looked after. So he's he's grabbed the opportunity to own this to the customer. He's not had it very long. He's had some bits done on it. He's got um, high back springs on it, operated brakes on the rear just for the discs and the pads. He's got a few woodman in the front there, look to me. He's got a silicon hose for the intake lock, yeah. Nothing else, it's box standard, it's got a scorpion exhaust on it, cat back, but apart from that, it's all box standard. So today, we're gonna to be putting a Revo, as you can see that, we're gonna be putting a Revo stage one on it. Always recommend, just, just sample the softwares first as you go up. If you wanna dive in and do it, full on, that's fine, but sample the lower grades first and then work your way up. So Revo stage one, we're doing a rear bolt to mount, Revo one, obviously. Um, we're gonna service it as well, so we'll put the cooler running plugs in it, the OTR NGK plugs. Um, he's already got a panel filter in there, so no need to worry about that. Um, yeah, full service as well, and new one, we'll put it that way. And SPS switch. So he's got some Paraflex rear upper isolators that he supplied to us, he wants us to fit. We do that, that's, you know, takes minutes to do that. Um, yeah, so we're looking forward to this one. So we'll get this one done, and then we will crack on. We've got a Mark 8. Uh, as well to do, which is a customer from Cornwall as well. That's for Reaver Stage 1 and etc. which we'll explain that to you in a, in a separate bit. So let's crack on with this, uh, Timmy, get this done, and then we'll we'll just come back and talk to you about what we're doing as we go. All right, so see you soon. Reaver software is all installed, Stage 1, all done. Um, we've checked the SPS switch, all good. Works on all the functions, which you should do. So now we get the crack on. Timmy, you'll crack on, do the servicing on it, get the rear ice uh, layers done, yeah? Yep. You like, like staggered that then, didn't I? You had a bit of a misfire there. I had a bit of a misfire. We need to get me plugged into the diagnostics mm -hmm. yeah, to see what's going on there and see if we can fix it. Yeah, um, Yeah. so let's, let's crack on. Um, lots to do. Right, so presentation on the bench here, guys and girls. Just thought we'd just share it for you, seen it before, the, uh, those of you who follow our channel. So we've got the operated Revo rear motor mount. Nice bit of kit that, isn't it, to me? Yep. Now they do. You will get a bit of vibration when that's fitted. You'll get a bit of initial vibration. You'll think the exhaust is vibrating on the floor um, and the car is vibrating a bit. It's quite normal. Um, they do settle in, they do bed in. Yeah, and then it settles down. You're always gonna get a little bit, it's gonna be always gonna be a little bit more harsher because it's polyurethane, not, you know, nice flexible rubber. But it's worth putting up with that, the benefits that you get from it. You know, as we said before, just cuts down the wheel hot and, you know, just stiffens everything up and you know you keep that power in torque where it's supposed to be onto the road rather than losing it through or moving around etc so yeah good upgrade but they do settle in so don't worry too much about the, the initial vibration all right so we've got the magnetech now the mark 7 16 eco boost originally come with 520 magnetech which is what they ran all depends on the mileage that the car's done or what you're doing with it we tend to then change it to 530. All right, the 30 bit of the 530, it just means that it stays a bit thicker when it's um, when it's hotter, it's just that extra protection, that's all, especially if you're upgrading it and putting a bit more power and torque through it. But yeah, so especially ones that have done a bit more miles, always put the 530 in it, but we're gonna change this. I know it's only done 15,000 miles, but we're gonna switch it to 530 now, done. Pollen filter, as you can see, oil filter, which, it's just to confirm that it is a genuine one to me, yeah? We're not just putting it in a box. Here we are. Uh, so we're putting the LCR7 IX dash levers. Now the gap is 1.1. You can't put 1.1 gap in. That's not for that. It's not for the application for a Fiesta. All right, so we pre obviously we re -gap them down. We'll put them to like 28 thou. Um, rear upper isolators. Got them out to me, innit? Yeah. Nothing, nothing wrong with this. Not like 15,000 miles, but they're a bit spongy. They're oily and He's got the lower strings on it, but they've never done these. So we'll do that for him at the same time, which is fairly straightforward. It takes about 10 minutes to me, doesn't it? Yeah. 
So that's it. That's it. Present your bench. You're going to crack on and do the get that uh, out of the way now, and then I'm going to crack on with the marquee. Leaders. Um, welcome to another new customer, Market ST. As you can see, done quite a few of these leggings anyway. Yep. It's really good. This is in for um, first annual service, Regal Stage One, rear lower motor mount, SPS, uh, Regal panel footwear. Um, yeah, so we're uh, quite excited about that. And like I said before, I've not come across anybody yet that's had a Regal Stage One put on a Mark Eight that hasn't been mega impressed, which they are. It does, you know, it does transform. So again, they're both this one and the, the customer, the new customer, the Mark Seven is going to have a. A joyous drive home. Right, Regal software all installed. Got to just check the SPS switch, which I'll do in a sec. So that's that side of it's pretty much done for this. We'll fill in the Regal passport for the customer, talking through the SPS switch and all that sort of stuff. We got to go out and do the some data logging with it, make sure it's doing what it's doing. We'll do both things. We've got the Mark Seven to do, which we'll move on to shortly. But yeah, so. Get all this out of the way, and then Timmy can crack on doing the service on it, which we'll talk about as we're doing it. But that's that one, so let's crack on with the uh, Mark 7. Right, back on the uh, Mark 7. Regal Stage 1 software is already installed, I've done that. SPS switch, all checked, done that. Same sort of thing as the Mark 8, we'll fill in the passport, the Regal passport, which is really good because it, it's got all the information, all the data of what's been done on this car. That's all uploaded to Revo, so they've got a history of that. When the gentleman, if he wants to go for a um, Regal Stage 2, we just there's a section there to go to a Stage 2 to fill in on the passport. It's really good to keep. It's just like a, a service book, really. And it's all, you know, all professional, isn't it? So, but on the side, as you can see, still got the stock, stock turbo, stock pipe work, stock, in, stock intercooler. That'll all have to be changed with regards to, you know, if he wants to go to a Stage 2, obviously, and we talk about that nearer the time. Um, but, so Timmy, oil's all drained. No oil filters up there. He's got a optional sump plug, which he's got one of these Voodoo ones, which is magnetic, so it just picks up the bits, but we put that back in, obviously we're not going to, there's no point in changing, you know, we need to be putting a stand on back in, it's pointless. So he's got the um, Scorpion cat back, customer did mention that it was blowing, well it is, you can see that, so we'll just reposition that clamp, we'll clean it all up, reposition it, the rear one's the worst one. So the reason why that's blowing is we need to, it needs to go on further because you can see that the bracket is not lined up here. So we'll see if we can get that on further. And they've put the, the band clamp right at the end. Right, it should be sort of like in the middle sort of thing. That's why it's blowing. And it's probably trying to pull itself off. So we'll we'll reposition that, Timmy, won't we? Yep. Um, coming to the rear, Timmy's done both sides. So that's all done. It's just got to do up the, obviously that one there is still not secure. Look, yep. um, we'll, we'll do that in a minute. So, yeah, he's already got the eye back, or well, mount tune, but they're made by eye back. Right, mount tune don't make the strings. They're made by eye back and then just powder coat with yellow with a mount tune logo on it. So we've put the Powerflex rear upper eye setters on it, purple uh, type, not the black ones. Either either, really. I don't really notice the difference. The black series ones is a bit more harsh, so no normal day road use and whatever, that's fine. Put them on there. So they're all done. The old ones are on the floor. Nothing much wrong with these, look. They're pretty good, but they're spongy, flexible. They will deteriorate over a period of time. Those won't. And that's it, really. So what you've got to do now is Timmy's crack on um, with the top half, which we'll show you when the car's down, the, the plugs. I think you're all, you've done them, haven't you? Done so the plugs. Yeah. done. Recap them down to like 28 though. Done. Um, so, yeah. So you're going to be busy, Timmy. So you've got to crack on with this one and the Mark 8 that you can see there. Yep. Um, I've got some tyres to do. And then uh, we'll be back round to... Crack on and finish off, yeah? Yep. Laters. Yep. Right, you join us on the side of the uh, Market ST. So, oil and filter is all done, some plug washer, all done, all those all in it, service is done, pollen filter is done, isn't it? Yep. Um, rear motor mount. The other one, actually, the original, um, you actually got it there to me. Didn't well, it's you? in the back of the box. In the back of the box, right. Yeah. So, the original one had uh, completely broken up, which we didn't know that until we put it up in the air. So, that's just fell to bits, the original one. So, that's the reason why you go for an upgrade. So polyurethane, that's the, the way to go. It just proves it the standard. Standard ones, well, this car was stock and it's not even up to the task. So when you put more power and torque for it and you don't do a rear motor mount, 
Well, this is just gonna rip itself out in it. No. That's one of the standard ones. And I'm good. Right. Yep. I'll let it afterwards because. Uh, so the panel filter's all done to me, yeah? Yep, well, that's all done. So, um, yeah, that's it. So, all we've got to do now get the under tray up. Um, tire pressures. It's, uh, we, we haven't done it. So we, he's had two new tires put on the front. Four S's. Great. It's the one to go for. Car's a bit dirty. Because, yep. um, yeah, the rooms are dirty. So, we'll finish up now and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we find this under the Mark 7 now, not the Mark 18, you don't get confused here. Yeah, so we moved the clamps on the exhaust a bit. We'll rejig that again when we get it on the four poster after we've done road test, right, Timmy? Yep. Of course. Um, got a few nose tyre pressures. Um, what else? Double check the oil level. Yeah. Um, three milk marks, all done. Full paint marks, ready to go. So yeah, we're nearly at uh, early completion. So let's learn down. I'll check the oil level. I'll do the tyre pressures to you, Timmy. No Thank you. Yeah. yeah, and then, um, yeah, then it's finished shop time. I haven't even stopped for any dinner yet, mate, have we? Nope. It's been in, you know, you know, it's, um, Very busy. Pull them here, no, no lunch. Get the little violin out, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, let's crack on. Right, so we're at the end, just to finish up on, uh, the, like we said, new customer coming from Cornwall with his Mark 8 ST. As you can see, it is absolutely filthy. He lives in Cornwall, so, down the tracks and all that sort of stuff. But again, it doesn't matter, does it? He uses it, which is the most important thing. Um, we just went out and data logged it, Timmy, and we. Yep. Now, the thing is, it's got 95 on fuel in it at the moment, which, you know, we don't recommend that, but that's, he got, a good example. So he got stuck, he could only get 95. Normally he runs it on 99. So that's why it's important with the SPS switch. So this is where it comes into its play, because he was, obviously didn't make a decision as him and then having about the SPS switch, and that's just sold it to him, really, because click it onto the right setting, on this scenario it'll be number two on the SPS switch and that that'll adjust the timing to suit 95 ROM fuel so if you was going 97 BP put it on number three and then number four is going to be on this activation it's going to be the 98 plus 99 98 to 100 which is what you'd be running on so there's more to come so with it set up on running 95 ROM fuel it's not going to see the same sort of performance figures as you would run in 99 so so it's He's going to feel it, of course he is, completely different, day and night. When he puts 99 fuel in it, then it will uh, change it on the SPS switch and then it will enhance it even more. All right, but that's it, so it's all done, ready to go. That was the sound of... Not impressed, no? Not imp no. It's <laughs> fine. Um, yeah, so we, uh, as you can see, what we are mm -hmm. and we put the little finisher gel badge on there that's the one that he customer pick it's fine you have what you want we just come back from doing the uh, road test and data logging to me and everything's good in it yeah checked all the timing settings we've checked all the fuel settings and everything that we need to check out in the boost etc etc with our armor engineering laptop it's all good in it um on the 99 well it's Target's 98 plus on this, so you can, it says 98 on the data login, but the higher the octane the fuel, the better. The better the burn, the more bang. Power to walk here. It's gonna be, yeah, 95. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Uh, so that's it. So we're pretty much done. Customer is happy. Um, so we got a, something which we're gonna, as a freebie, to, go on to his keys, which is, there we are to me. So we had these done, courtesy of um, Pro Alloy Motorsport. So made these for us. And yeah, they're really good, all powder coated, super lightweight alley, yeah. Might be a bit big for some people's liking, but it is what it is. It's got the three accents there, look. Our little legs are cut out, awesome, yeah. So, actual power. Barry, one just car, is going to be the first one to have one of these outside of the MJB team. He's going to be the first one to have one on his finger. So, superb. He doesn't know yet, but we're going to let him know that in a second. So, there we are. Sorted. Um, yeah, so there we are. That's um, pretty much ready to go. So, we'll end it there, guys. 
and girls. The usual thing, we've done the mark out today. We've now finished the mark seven. Again, Tim is going to work on Homo, which is really, really good. He's got other plans to start him up on the, on the, a bit of a spending spree, I suppose. A lot of the customers, because they want to, want to sample stage two and, and wherever they want to go beyond that, which will gladly oblige. Um, so yeah, usual thing, hit that bell button, uh, notifications, so hit that, build the notifications, it'll pop into the box, hit all, hit all, mm. hit all, it's proper English here to me, yes, hit all, and that will then um, make sure that you get all notifications when we upload a new video. So comments down below, usual thing, make sure you subscribe, really important, and that's all, you know, connected to what I just said. There we are. So we will, uh, we've got other things to do to me, haven't we? Yep. Lots of more content coming. And um, yeah, I've got a busy uh, tomorrow and weekend. And I'm going to travel places, so behind the scenes, people don't realise this, but I'm, you know, I'm here, there, and everywhere doing new development stuff and this, that, and the other. So um, mentally and physically challenging, as they say. And I'm not getting any younger. Yeah, Jimmy? No. No comment, yeah. No comment. Yeah. There we are. So, see you soon. Ciao. So, Harry is just on his way now. Look, he's uh, ready to go. And um, yeah, there we are, Harry. Thanks, mate. He's going to have. Uh, he most certainly is going to have a fun drive home, viewers. Absolutely. Um, and he's going to give me some feedback and let me know what it's like. But off he goes. Another satisfied customer.